Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from Tech Dragon Out Info, and I got some more test server. It's finally back up. Um, let's just go over the changes because this is version two. Um, they have changed the super purging around a little bit again. Um, I think they did something to the frontal armor, but I can't quite put my finger on it what it is. Um, in the patch notes, they say. Fix the damage model of the super purging tank. Widened the reinforcement line on the frontal hull armor front plate. D d what? I have absolutely no fracking clue what they mean by that. Is that this plate that is wider? Well, I don't see it being wider. Neither is the plate underneath here. So what the hell did they widen? I don't see any changes. So I have no clue what they were on about. So, absolutely not a clue. So it doesn't seem like the Super Pershing is going to be a really good tank after this. They gave it some slight buffs, the armor is nerfed, and I don't think this fixed it. I've been doing testing, and I'm basically, after taking everybody's Super Pershing stats with hits they took and how much pens, um, do keep in mind, though, that if they shoot your tracks and they hit him, that also counts as a pen. It's a pen no damage, but it counts as a pen, so... The stats are a bit fucked up, but they're basically exactly the same as before, as the 8.8 .8 version 1 server, so... It does matter if I take just my own stats, and, or just everybody's stats. If I just take my own stats, I bounce a lot more than other people do, so... Maybe it's just a lot of rubbish players out there that pull the stats down. It's kind of hard to say, or you just get a better average of, you know, the average Joe player. I'm not sure. Um, I will probably be keeping my Super Pershing because, well, I've been testing the SU 12244, 12244, there we go. Um, and I've been having the most terrible games in the damn thing. Just absolutely god awful, terrible games. Where the gun just does not behave. Uh, just will not function. You can look at the service record for the thing, but... Oh, that's one of the other things they fixed. You can finally look at the service record without crashing your game. Yay! <laughs> so, that is now fixed. So, most of these fixes are the interface. Um... So, yeah, let me take a look here at the issue 122. I've only done a couple of games, so I know it's not a good representation, but, you know, normally you don't even get to test, uh... Here we go. 63% victory ratio. Yay! Um... Not so much. I've destroyed 11 in 8 games, but I've hardly done a damn thing. I mean, most of those were from one game, where I got 4. Um... I've just been dying and not doing enough damage. Um, here, damage. 7,000 damage in 8 games. That's less than 1,000 damage a game. That's pretty fucking poor. For something that has 122 millimeter and does 390 average damage. Two or three shots and pens should be more than that. So I'm doing less than three damage shots a game on this thing. I just, I don't know what it is. Uh, the gun is just not accurate. Uh, I mean, I know that, but... I do better on my SU-100, which gun is worse accuracy-wise, worse aim time-wise, I think. Is the aim time the same? No, the aim time, I think, was the same. Rate of fire is better on this one. And I do worse on this one. How the hell does that work? But I don't know. I've just been getting absolute garbage games. And this is still broken for me, so I don't know what the hell is causing that. I don't have any mods, so that's not it. But, here, did 1100 damage, woohoo. Top experience in my team. I did shit! 10 hits, 8 pins, 2 bounces. Um, I heard a lot of them that were um, fizzling, so heat rounds. Always fun. But, 20k money. Yeah, pretty poor. It was a defeat, but still pretty poor. But, let's take a look here. Compensation, I got shot by... Fracking ally. 
Nice. Did five shots, four hits, three pent, only 700 damage. That's pretty shit. Hits received 14, so I bounced more on my SU-122 than I did on my fucking super purging. <sighs> but the money is just poor on this tank. I mean, the shots cost 1k a shell. So I'm barely making any money on this thing. Let's take a look at another game. Let's see this one. I did yeah, yeah, not even 800 damage, did pretty fucking poor again. And again, 13k profit, yay. My super purging makes a lot more money even with the crappy shit of it dying all the time. So, in my opinion, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the SU-100. But I cannot get this tank to work. It's the same fucking tank. Let's grab it real quick here. Um, hold on. check that. Vehicle details, vehicle details. I mean, this one is a higher tier, of course, so you do take the same penetration into a higher tier, which is pretty fucking shit, but... Has more hull armor, better, no, slightly worse traverse, actually. Speed limit is slightly worse than the SU-100. Engine power slightly worse, has better hit points, way the same. Um, the standard shell damage is the same, penetration the same, rate of fire is double, or pretty much double. Um, gun traverse is 26 versus 44, so that's quite a, substantially slower. View range is actually better than the issue 100, and signal range is better on this one. I don't think I have the top radio, or do I? Oh, I do, okay, radio is just shit on the issue 100. So, it is a worse, but a better tank at the same time. Better rate of fire, better accuracy. Now, why can I do pretty damn well on this tank, and just cannot make this thing even function? So, to me, this is not going to be a good replacement, and I'm more than likely just going to keep my super purging. I make more money in it, and I seem to do better in it than I can do in a SU-122. It's, I don't know what it is, it, if it's just a test server, or the lag from a test server, because it's pretty horrendous. My ping is low, but the lag is just insanely high. You freeze like every couple of seconds, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, but I cannot make this thing work. Even though I can do perfectly fine on its pretty much identical counterpart. With a lower rate of fire, and I do better, way better. So, I don't fucking understand it. So, I've been having a pretty miserable time, and I'm not going to replace my Super Purging anytime soon with this. I might eventually, but not anytime soon. So, let's take a look at the rest of the fixes that they've done. Um, I basically... This is one of the things I want to show you. You can actually click on the details, and this window will remain open. As long as you don't click in here, in, the, in any other window, you can just stay in here and click on it and see your details, which is pretty nice. And as soon as you click anywhere in there, there you go, you lose it, so... <sighs> Another horrifically bad game. I'm not super purging this time. So yeah, I've been just getting bad game after bad game after bad game at the moment, so I'm going to be done with the test server for a while. I'm just disgusted with it at the moment, so screw that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Basically, it's interface fixes. It's like all these windows were causing lag. Um, this one, the summary opened, but took a long time. The awards didn't open at all and almost guaranteed to crash your game. Um, I still think these pages load slow. Ah, uh, see, so you have to load them once per session before they actually function. Okay, I can actually select the awards you haven't received yet. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. These are things with a medium tank. Hmm, huh, okay. Surprised I never got that one, since I mainly play mediums. <laughs> um. Well, okay, that's that. Um, another thing that was causing lag, I do believe, was this window. Um, but that's also fixed. Um, the base flags have been 
fixed bugs in the rendering. Uh, didn't know there were bugs in there and I didn't see any. But, okay. <laughs> um, I still would like to know why I'm seeing this crap. Why the money amount is, you know, nerked up for me. I mean, it's fine down here. It's fine here. It's just here that's screwed up. And sometimes there's not even a single number in here. Just completely empty. I don't know. That's, um, that's basically all the fixes they've done, or almost all of them, are interface related. They've had issues with clicking on shells and then getting here. Um, just a whole bunch of things. So that's mainly small fixes, and the only real changes that they've done on this version is that they changed the super purging, which is very unclear as to what the hell they did with it. So I have no clue. Uh, I feel that there's a difference here in this armor. I don't think there was this much space here. So I do know what they changed, but they I think they changed something. Um, wait a minute. Exit down to assume widen the reinforcement line of the frontal hall front plate. Widen the reinforcement. Well. What is the reinforcement plate? Is that this thing? I mean, I know there's a reinforcement plate on here. On the, around the uh, machine gun port. Uh, could that be it? If that is it, then we need to slap one of the developers, because that is so not what needed to be fixed on this thing. That is a reinforcement plate, so it might be that. I have no idea. They are so bloody unclear in these patch notes lately. It's just annoying. Um, they fixed the problem that you couldn't start battles with certain tanks. Um, what else? What else? They fixed the sound of the Object 140's gun. Um, they increased the terrain crossing capability of the E75. So, if we go to the E75. It's not a stat you can actually see, but it's basically a stat that's applied to your tracks, and it means you move faster on, um, like, dirt and grass and, you know, those kind of terrains. So it, it's sort of a speed buff without changing the engine. So that's a good thing, and I do believe it also translates into um, traverse speed. Um... They had an issue on Silent Coast map. Um, Silent Coast, don't they mean Serene Coast? I think it's a typo in the patch notes. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what else. Fix several problems with icons in store and depot. Did not see any issues in here. Um, hmm, odd. I was in here, but didn't see any missing icons. Huh. Fix some errors with visual models on a T44, 122, and a Type 64. Fix some errors in Swamp Corellia, Airfield, and Tundra maps. Returned old logic of ammo slider box functionality in the service window. So, this thing, I did not realize they had a different one in there. I didn't see anything. Oh, you know what? I think the previous one. If your ammo was full like this, and you slided this one out, it would actually subtract from these and add to these. This one. I think that is the, what they fixed, or what they reverted back to the old version. And change the calculation formula of the global rating. So that would be... Yep, go away. The global rating... Um, must be out here somewhere. I think it's this one. Is it that one? Ward statistics, maybe? Um, no. Yeah, I think it's this one. So, I'm not quite sure what this means. If this is like your um, number in the in the list, although I severely doubt I'm number 2000. Um, I'm not that good of a player. So, I'm not entirely sure what that means there. Hmm. 
So, anyways, that's about it for the second version of the test server. Um, means that the super purging is not likely to change again, so this is more than likely unless they get a lot of feedback, so please go to the forum and submit your feedback, that's a special super purging forum topic. Um, go complain about it, because they destroyed the tank that a lot of people loved um, for no good reason. And the whole giving money back, I, I'm not buying it. Huh. No pun intended. Uh, I mean, that's, uh, well, doesn't matter. Let's take a look. Um, for 7,200 gold, what can you actually get? You can get a T14. That one's not available. You can get the low tiers, but if you have a Super Persian, you're looking for a money maker, so that's not an option. The Panther M10, the PZ4S, they're, they're all okay tanks. I mean, they're not horrifically bad, but they're certainly not good either. E25, again, it's not a horrifically bad tank. Its rate of fire is pretty awesome. Its accuracy is awesome, but the penetration is non-existent. Again, a pretty shit tank. Dicker Max, I'm not sure yet. I'll buy one. I'll try it out. Um, I don't need a crew. Thank you. <laughs> I'll test that one out. See if that's a good replacement. I don't know, but I don't think so. Then your options are the issue 100Y, which has no armor whatsoever. It has a good gun, but the gun is very troll. Um, and it, it dies very quickly. Until the Black Prince. Um, wait a minute. Yeah. That is the Matilda back prince. Okay, just called the Matilda 4 here. That's weird. Huh. That's confusing, because I have a Matilda tier 4 and a Matilda 4. <laughs> okay. Um, Churchill, of course, but again, shitty gun. And that's about it, other than the SU 12244, which I already established a lot of people like. But at least me on the test server could not get it to function properly at all. And I made less money than I made on the Super Pershing, even with the decreased armor. So I'm still doing better on the Super Pershing money-wise than I'm doing on the SU-12244. Even though I love the SU-100. So it's not like I don't know the tank type, I don't know the gun. I just cannot get this one to work for some unknown reason. So, I don't know. So, I think that's about it. Um, I think about about covered everything on the test server and your options for tanks. I will still look at the scroll 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 T34-3 and the 112, and those will be out later. Um, hopefully this coming week, um, I need to see when I have time to actually do this, because I still have a lot to do and other things as well, so we'll see when I get around to it. Um, I'll try to get them out as soon as I can, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.